So, Dr. Bob, so many people have problems with blood pressure. Uh, a lot of people are on medication for it to bring it down because it's too high. Is there a problem on the other end, too, or some people have it too low? Well, you know, there's a variety of blood pressure issues that we see today, but very few people talk about low blood pressure because they go to the healthcare provider and they'll just say, you know what, your blood pressure low, that's good. Well, we typically see that in females and their bodies are exhausted. So there's a term that we use called adrenal fatigue. So ladies that are watching us right now and when ladies come into our practice and if they're wearing sunglasses or if they have sunglasses in their purse or they have sunglasses on the top of their head, I know that bright light bothers their eyes. That's a very common body signal for an individual that has what we call adrenal fatigue. And their blood pressure typically is, let's say, 100 over 60, where a normal blood pressure should be 120 over 80. So I'm going to take a moment and explain what blood pressure is. When your heart has to beat the blood through the whole body, that ventricle movement and the resistance is what we call the systolic number. Normally, it should be 120. As the blood flows back to the heart and it goes into the heart wall, that's the diastolic pressure. That normally should be 80. So if the higher number or the systolic number is way high, it could put so much pressure, you could have a stroke. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if the blood pressure is coming back in your body really hard and fast, over time, that can cause congestive heart failure. So what we see with these individuals that have what we call adrenal fatigue, your adrenal glands when they constrict or when they release their hormones, blood vessels constrict. But when the adrenal glands are exhausted, those blood vessels can constrict, so the blood vessels are wide. That's why when a woman would sit from, go from a sit to a stand position, she feels lightheaded or dizzy. We promote B vitamins for that. Your adrenal glands need that. Your adrenal glands also need vitamin C. We encourage red, yellow, orange, bell pepper. We also encourage a whole salt. We don't talk about refined salts. You want to use a Celtic sea salt or a Himalayan salt. You don't want a processed salt. You want a complex salt that has calcium, magnesium, and potassium in it, not just sodium. Most individuals that come into our practice that have low blood pressure are females. B vitamins, red, yellow, orange, bell peppers. They, meet, they may need some glandular adrenal, and they could use something called pantothenic acid. It's B5 but typically they need vitamin B1 or thiamine. But on the whole other extreme, we have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, Scott, it's really quite frightening with high blood pressure. I'm just gonna throw a nugget out to you. A lot of people today have been programmed that they're, they like rename drugs. So a diuretic, they'll call it a water pill. Mm -hmm. Well, a common one is called hydrochlorothiazide. Hydrochlorothiazide eliminates minerals out of your body. So supposedly then the water will leave your body and you don't have as much water for your heart to pump against. But what I have had happen is that there's tendons in your hand and if you don't have enough minerals over time, there's a condition called Dupuytren's contracture where your hands actually start to gnarl up. And I'm seeing more of this in our practice now because of hydrochlorothiazide. So what we have learned, one of the leading causes of high blood pressure in our practice is lack of magnesium. And I'm seeing, and it's just so interesting, ladies that are 50 years old and older typically are the ones that have been healthy. So you can say, I thought you thought they had low blood pressure. No, you have a layer that have low blood pressure, but ladies that are 50 or and above have been like the administrator of the family, worked hard their whole life, had 14 plates up in the air, and they come in one day and their heart is going pum, 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 pum. Their heart's racing and they have anxiety. They have constipation. They're, they're just having some challenges they've never had before. It's a lack of magnesium because we use magnesium. And we've, these ladies are just so happy because they have a magnesium deficiency. And probably one of the leading causes of magnesium deficiency is sugar. But naturally, because I am, quote, unquote, the drugless doctor, this is the new beef. This is kale, and kale is an excellent source of protein, calcium, but anything green, this is the key factor, anything green has magnesium in it. And people might say, I hate kale, well, unless you've ever tried it. So here's something really simple with the kale. You cut that center vein out, and you cut it up, you cut it up into pieces, you're having some olive oil over here, 
warming, cut up some onions and mushrooms and they're sauteing and are getting kind of warm. And then you take this cut up kale and you can put it in there for about a minute or two and you can have kale straight that away. But what you can really use kale for is everything. You can put it in your chicken soup. You can literally put kale, because it's pretty tasteless, in anything. I put it in my salad. Just snip it a piece in. Great source of magnesium. How do you know if you're magnesium deficient or not? First, you're going to have high blood pressure. But magnesium allows your bowels to function optimally. If you don't have enough magnesium, you may have an issue with constipation. So if you're constipated and you have anxiety and your blood pressure is up, instead of running off to your healthcare provider, I have nothing against you doing that, you want to have your blood pressure taken. This is a traditional blood pressure machine. You want it to be at least 120 over 80. If it's 100 over 60, your blood pressure is kind of low. And I've read different statistics now. They say take your age, you add that to the 100. So let's say you're 60 years old, you could, they say comfortably 160 over 80. Now the medical community, they want you on medication today. I've had individuals that are heavy that don't have high blood pressure. I've had people who are stressed that have had high blood pressure. Drink water. Celtic sea salt or complex salt is important. That's really significant. If you have stress, make sure you have enough minerals. Make sure you're eating your green food. That all helps blood pressure. Because if your blood pressure is high long enough over time, you can have heart distress.